pull out the good old Bibleizer here. Do 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 do. I need like I need that. I need that sound. Do 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 do. The lady at the uh, the uh, the what you call it, the family, the the dollar family place that I go to, the dollar family. Um, I was like, I I like that I I I I have a sugar problem, and I and this is it right here. And I said I like the cream soda one because I had just a a bottle of it, right? And I just had like grabbed it from the thing because I was trying to cut back. Okay, one thing leads to another. I had energy drink, didn't like it, you know, had a bad experience. So I'm like, I want to cut back energy drinks. Like I was having one once a week. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to have one soda. Because once a week to me was just going grocery shopping. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to grab this soda instead of energy drink. So I go to check out and the lady at the thing, she's the the manager of the place. And she's checking me out. And I was like, hey, you guys used to have the the the, the 12 packs of this cream type. Uh, and I I never see it anymore. And that's all I said. She's like, oh, no, 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 I'll order it for you. I said, no, 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 no. If you have no sales on it, don't order it. You know, I got to pass on, on the retail history. So I'm like, I, I know it, I, I know if it's not selling, don't bring it out because I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. Week later, she comes rushing out of the back room with three of them. I, got, I, got, I ordered you. They'll be in. The, I said no. They'll be in the back room. I, I said no, and I went through my whole spiel. And then, and then uh, they'll be in the back room if you want them. All right. So I go shopping and blah, blah blah. No energy drink. No soda. I come to the counter, and on the counter is laid out like I think she did it on purpose. Like she, like she was planning and plotting this whole time. Like, like, like she put it on the counter. I, she said she swears she didn't do it on purpose, but she put it on the counter, and on the counter it said. Three Dr. Peppers for 12, uh, 15 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. I said, can you go get those three from the back? <laughs> ah, they got me. She had to put them in the system. That's how I knew. She had to put them in the system for the deal to be taken off the, the discount. So I knew. Uh huh. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's read. Here we go. In three, two, one. Genesis 29. Genesis 29. Then Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the sons of the east. He looked and saw a well in the field, and behold, three flocks of sheep were lying there beside it. For from that well they watered the flocks. Now the stone on the mount, mouth of the well was large. When all the flocks were gathered there, they would then roll the stone from the mouth of the well and water the sheep, and put the stone back in its place on the mouth of the well. Jacob said to them, My brothers, where are you from? And they said, We are from Haran. And, they, and he said to them, Do you know Laban? The, sis, the son of Nahor? And they said, we know him. And he said to them, is it well with him? And they said, it is well. And here is Rachel, his daughter, coming with the sheep. He said, behold, it is still high day, and it is not time for the livestock to be gathered. Water the sheep and go pasture them. But they said, we cannot until all the flocks are gathered. And they roll the stone from the mouth of the well, then the water, then we water the sheep. While he was still speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she was a shepherdess. When Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, Jacob went up and rolled the stone from the mouth of the well and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. Then Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted, lift his voice, lifted his voice and wept. Jacob told Rachel that, he was a relative of her father and that he was Rebekah's son, and she ran and told her father. So when Laban heard the news of Jacob, his sister's son, he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. Then he related to Laban and these things, Laban and, <coughs> excuse me, 
He related to Laban these things, and Laban said to him, Surely you are my bone and my flesh. And he stayed with him a month. And Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me, what shall your wages be? Now, Laban had two daughters. The name of the older was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. And Leah's eyes were weak, but Rachel was beautiful of form and face. Now, Jacob loved Rachel, so he said, I will serve you seven years for your younger daughter, Rachel. Laban said, it is better that I give you give her to you than to give her to another man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed to him but a few days because of his love for her. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my time is completed that I may go into her. Laban gathered all the men of the place and made a feast. Now in the evening he took his daughter Leah, and brought her to him, and Jacob went into her. Laban also gave his maid Zilpha to his daughter Leah as a maid. So it came about in the morning that, behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? What, was it not for Rachel that I served you? Why then have you received me, deceived me? But Laban said, It is not the, pra- the practice in our place to marry off the younger before the firstborn. Complete the week of this one, and we will give you another We will give you the other also for the service which you shall serve for me another seven years. Jacob did so and completed her week, and he gave him his daughter Rachel as his wife. Laban also gave his maid Bilhah to his daughter Rachel as her maid. So Jacob went into Rachel also, and indeed he loved Rachel more than Leah. And he served with Laban for another seven years. Now the Lord saw that Leah was un loved and he opened her womb but rachel was barren leah conceived and bore a son and named him reuben for she said because the lord has seen my affliction surely now my husband will love me then she conceived again and bore a son and said because the lord has heard that i am unloved he has therefore given me this son also so she named him simeon she conceived again and bore a son and said now this time my husband will become attached to me because i have borne him three sons therefore he was named levi And she conceived again and bore a son and said, This time I will praise the Lord. Therefore, she named him Judah. Then she stopped bearing. Amen. There you go. The beginning of Israel. Ladies and gentlemen. Genesis 29, a random Bible chapter of the day. I thank you guys.